this is a different kind of video and I just want to um, <laughs> make a little uh, news blurb about where the how our little town has been reacting to the first case of the coronavirus in the state of Oregon in the United States. So now this newspaper is our local small town newspaper and they do charge to view it online but I have a physical newspaper here so sometimes you're just gonna see a screenshot and I'm not gonna read through all of the articles but so on the front page um, it's keep calm stay informed life goes on after coronavirus hits LO so and um, yes COVID-19 has arrived no you should not panic and then if you go on, you know, talking about cover your coughs, wash your hands, avoid close contact with people who are sick, which is interesting because we know that there's a, like an incubation period anywhere from 17 to 21 days. So people can walk around with it and not know it. Take care of your health overall, staying current on your vaccinations, including the flu vaccine. And then um, more testing being done. Tests for seven patients come back negative, which is good. 115 people remain under monitoring, whatever that means. Meaning, <laughs> they didn't have symptoms, but they've been exposed to the virus through close contract. We're still allowing planes to come in from Italy and stuff. And... Um, The person who came in from Italy reported that they weren't tested when they came off the plane, nor anything. So, okay, so we have that one. The next one is the um, State of Emergency Board pours $5 million into the COVID-19 fight. It has about $75 million at its discretion, discussed briefly. And unanimously approved emergency allocations, including 11.5 million for flood relief, <laughs> and 5 million, right, which isn't going to be enough for the COVID-19 efforts. And so um, the state of Oregon did file a state of emergency and that helps allow them to get federal funding then we have quarantine hillsborough nurse says the covid 19 patient initially released so she came to er and was released days before being diagnosed and here you have to do the wallet and here i don't have the article because So then we have here a chocolate shop owner closes the store due to coronavirus and he isn't taking any chances and he decided to close his store. The grocery store shelves are wiped clean and this is how the people are responding. Uh, hand sanitizer gone, disinfecting wipes gone. Cleaning supplies are being wiped out across the local grocery store shelves, and even toilet paper seems to be disappearing. Almost like a widespread apocalyptic panic. Don't worry, though. The world isn't ending. As concern spreads throughout the world about COVID-19, a disease caused by the novel coronavirus, people are flocking to grocery stores and stocking up on cleaning products, masks, hand sanitizer, and supplies are running low. You know, the headline reads, the right to use a bathroom. 
LOSD set to have genderless bathrooms at LMS, but what exactly does that mean? And here's a little picture of the design of how the bathroom's going to be. It shows the layout of the genderless bathroom. The reason that people get assaulted isn't because they're in a gender-neutral bathroom. It's because our society teaches men that it's their right to take advantage of women. And go figure, right? This shows you a little bit of... I'm in a very liberal state, and so... Because if, you know, slating it in the news, like... As if it's okay to say these things, but it's okay if it's a woman that says it, and it was a woman that said it, who is a high school student. So I want you to understand that it's also age related to what's happening. The bathrooms at will look similar to genderless bathrooms at other middle and high schools. It's saying, you know, the toilet rooms are floor to ceiling to ensure privacy. And if I were to go back to 2018, knowing what we know now, I think I would do more, where it's a little bit more of an incentive process. We could start with information, data, and education about the different times of bathroom design so that we could maybe help bring the community a little more to progress. Other thing to close this out because I, you know, I had to have a sense of humor because I was reading this is our local police laws, and this is kind of gives you an insight as to the mind of, of the small town. So this is really funny. Um, Pairs of sunglasses and portable batteries were reported from an unlocked vehicle. Mills was, was stolen. A bottle containing about 30 Zanac pills was stolen when somebody's daughter had a party. A set of golf clubs and other related accessories valued at was stolen near. A stolen golf club were reported by email. Fraud. A woman was contra contacted by Sprint who informed her that someone had attempted to open an account in her name. A caller said um, a patient of theirs had been scammed. A credit card was opened in someone's name. A woman came into a bank to get money from an account that wasn't hers. A resident said someone's pretending to be from Comcast. Um, Something was stolen from a personal account. Miscellaneous. A caller had questions about solicitation signs. A resident said someone went through her mailbox. A resident was concerned about someone who couldn't stop shaking, who said she'd been sleeping in her car and seemed confused. A juvenile custody dispute was reported. A man was seen looking in vehicles in a parking lot. A caller was concerned about someone who ha hadn't answered a call for an hour. The person was fine. An older man with a pink ribbon around his neck was seen walking. <laughs> I'm sorry. Do we have more time than this? A woman said a car sped up behind her and the driver honked and yelled before following her a bit. The caller... Um, <laughs> believed a neighbor was a known drug abuser and thought a person was dealing because there were lots of foot traffic. A caller asked what regulations were for flying drones. A resident said they saw a drug deal take place. A man was sleeping on a stairwell in, in a building. Sorry, my earphone fell out. In a building near the... A woman said she was homesick and found kids in her backyard. A man who appeared to be homeless was walking through a playground and looking at items in the left behind by the kids. A person had been sleeping in a car. A wall was damaged in a bathroom. A caller said a therapist and her son's therapist both had deaths in the family and her friend had a house fire and believed her ex-husband might be behind it all. A suspicious-looking person was seen walking up and down the street. A caller said someone was harassing neighbors by leaving paperwork on the door that said, Go to hell. This one. 
A woman was puzzled after a man she didn't know took her keys and threw them into the river. Isn't that amazing? People were noticed sitting inside a car. They were construction workers who were out of gas and had a flat tire. Anyway. <laughs>